It's me, Amesy. It's you, Chad. I've only just started stream, and we've had a bunch of homophobic comments come through. You guys can't see them because a lot of them were muted. Um, if you're following me and you're homophobic, you're the wrong community. We had a multiple people just come in immediately from the notification saying, fuck the LGBT, fuck gay people and all that. You definitely are not following me for the right reasons if you are jumping in immediately. Was that the bite of 87? Anyway, it's me, Amesy. It's you, chat. Happy, uh, what's the word? Happy, happy lesbian day. No, it was a first time chatter. Also, don't joke about that. Anyway. Um... It's lesbian day, chat. Today, uh, it's gonna be a fun stream today, chat. If you guys wanna know what we're doing today, I've asked you guys for a lot- I, I asked you guys for some queer experiences. If you guys missed out on signing up the form, do not worry. Um, we got a lot of- lot of stuff to go through today. Um, it's gonna be lovely. And I'm excited, okay? We're gonna have a big talk. We're gonna have a big talk, okay? It is also Life is Strange week, of course. Sorry I didn't stream for the last two days, chat. I do apologize. I've been working on something which I will talk about at the end of today's stream, which I'm very excited about. Um, so who's excited for life? Bro, my hair is doing its thing. It's ADHD Awareness Month. Oh, buddy, I'm aware. I'm looking at all of you. I'm aware you're all exist. Thank you for all the subs, chat. By the way, a month ago was the aims -a -thon. Um, So, cheers to that. How has time moved this fast, am I right? Yep. When it comes to these streams, I tend to lose a lot of followers, but I want to make sure that, you know, I make a community that is filled with gay people because that is the safest way that I can make it, okay? We're going to be talking about a lot of gay stuff, basically. You may be thinking, why? Not much reason for it. I just thought it'd be a nice because usually we do a lot of, like, cursed form streams. And I just thought it'd be nice to talk about some people's experiences, whether they're great or whether they're not, you know what I mean? And I think it'll be a fun time together. Yes, I'm wearing the AOT shirt. Where's Avid? All right, ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go! I'm over here now. Uh, what is your queer experience? Nothing. I'm very lonely. Anyone else relate to this? Anyone else relate? Oh, chat. Oh, chat. Oh, chat. I'm sure you'll find someone. One day. You know what guarantees to get you a partner? Whether it's platonic or romantic, watching AMZ TV on Twitch. Just saying. Talking to people? No, no, you don't need that. No, 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 no. That's actually you don't need. You don't need that. You don't need that. You don't. You, you, you don't. The whole talking thing—that's just a facade by the woke mob. Okay. The real way to get into a relationship, whether it's platonic or romantic. Yep. It's just by watching me. I'm telling you. Don't listen to the woke mob. Okay? They're gonna they're gonna tell you you've gotta, you know, have good social cues and and have conversation. No 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 no. Don't no it's not right. It's not right. You've just gotta have a lot of adventure time facts up here and then dune, you you got it, alright? Don't even worry about it. Next My What? My best friend teaching me how to make out? That's a thing? That is the most like fan fiction-esque thing I think I've ever heard. You get what I'm does that make any sense when I say that? When I like, you know, it seems like it would be a plot in 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 like a show. Being like, this means nothing, by the way. And then one of them falls. It is a common trope, oh. yeah. Okay, next. Uh, my first kiss happened with my best friend at the moment. Uh, and we had it, like, we when we had, like, f wait. My first kiss happened with my best friend at the moment, and we had it when we were 14. It happened at school, like a religious school. Okay, what? Huh? I love the added thing of it being a religious school. Okay. That's... Dude. You have fun, okay? You have fun. Not too much. My first crush was Betty Groff from Adventure Time. Yeah. 
If you guys don't know who Betty Groff is, would you guys like to... Thank you so much, Flower. Would you guys like to see an example of who Betty Groff is? I'm gonna assume you're all gonna say yes, even the people that know what Betty looks like. I will show you guys who Betty is. Betty is one of the most wholesome little creatures I think of that has ever existed in all of media. Looks-wise, love Betty as a human too, but I will show you. Hold on. This is Betty. We love Betty Groff here. We love Betty Groff. And I'm gonna say this right now. You know that trend that's like, I've never heard a Betty Groff quote. Yes, you have. <sighs> you do, you have, definitely. You were a wonderful experience. You were everything. That's them. That's, that's Betty and Simon. That's Betty and Simon. If you know that, that's Betty and Simon. From Fiona and Cake. Don't know why my accent went like this, but it is true. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, it's crazy. Um, I recommend everyone watches Adventure Time. I literally have, I literally have a Hambo tattoo and have multiple Hambos behind me. I love Adventure Time a lot. It is my, it is, it is my, my favorite ever. Anyway. Um, what is your career experience? I got known about the term bisexual through Glee? And then I realized I'm bisexual. Mate, mate, learning, learning, oh, that's amazing, that's amazing, that is so amazing, that is not uncommon, that is not uncommon, for every gay theater kid I know, there's a, you're always three people away from somebody who has watched Glee, that's all I'm gonna say, you're always three people away from somebody who has watched Glee, it's, it is just how it works, more like one, if you're gay, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> My mom watches Glee. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Did somebody just say bisexual heartstopper reference? So true. Dude. Dude, it did not exist before Nick, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. I always kissed my girlfriend goodbye in the girls' bathroom of our middle school. Weird rumors went around, but I loved her and I loved kissing her and I loved that I figured out so it was okay. Thank you, Dawn, by the way. Yeah. Dude. Dude. Fair, man. You have fun. You have fun. My first and only time crying out of relief was when I came out to my mom. Oh. Stop. That's adorable. That's lovely. My first and only time crying out of relief was when I came out to my mom. There is something so vulnerable and so terrifying about being open with somebody about that part of you. And it is such a relief, or like, even when it, it, to anybody, when you realize you were worried for nothing and you have like a good response, you know? And to anybody in chat who isn't available or isn't able to be out yet. Just know you will eventually have that, you know? You will eventually have that moment for you. Um, you know what? You know what? People in chat right now, people in chat right now, if there's anybody that hasn't said it out loud, go ahead. Use this time to put it in the Twitch chat. It won't ever be shown. You can say it. Because it is so... It is so... I'm so gay, I'm a lesbian, I'm non-binary, I'm trans, I'm bi, I'm a lesbian. I'm a lesbian, my name is Toby, I'm bisexual, asexual, I'm bisexual, I love men. I'm non-binary, I'm non-binary and ace, I'm a lesbian, I'm ace, I'm pansexual, I'm lesbian. Dude, I'm tearing up, dude! Is anyone else tearing up or am I just really sensitive? <laughs> oh, dude. I'm very proud of you all. That's so sick. Dude, oh. This is so fucking cute. I wasn't expecting that to be so sweet. Man, very proud of you guys. You guys are doing great, okay? Damn. That was lovely. That was
was this is such a lovely community uh, sorry that was I f this is gonna be such a weird way to put it i feel like a proud like parent not in a way that i see you guys as my kids but in a way that you know when like something happens you feel prideful over something you've created it's exactly like that that's how i felt then that was adorable it's like pr it's like pride over something you've created that was it oh spec stop it all right next let's go TV show! Oh my god! Do you mean that you got envy from people in it? Because, dude, Lily loved her. Loved her. Dude, I loved Lily. Yeah? Lily was an icon. Like, should have been by. I'm telling you now, okay? Just saying. Just putting it out there, okay? Next. I came out to my friend as lesbian and one of them handed the other a fiver. Turns out they had a bet on when I would realize and come out to them. Someone redeemed the flip off. I'm not flipping off this. That is wild. That is so insane. That's crazy. Mate, if I came out and someone's like, oh, thank fucking God, I'd be like, my jaw would like, like an animated jaw drop, you know? That is very cartoon coded. That is so cartoon coded. What do you mean? Wait, was it you? No way. That's crazy. My life is a fucking cartoon. It is. That is that is true. Uh, I had fallen off my best friend who has really Christian parents. We've been dating for six years in Camden. That is awesome. I'm, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, I think I think one of the things to remember is. Uh, even though you could meet, like, for example, we can use Christian as an example because we've used it here. Even though you can meet, um, Christians who follow certain beliefs of their own mind, it doesn't mean every single Christian is going to have those same ideals. Um, I remember one of my, uh, this is gonna be my own experience here. My first experience when I was young, I was about 15, 14, 15, and this was also still at the time where, like, being gay was still good, but wasn't as normal you know what i mean like it, it, it's weird to think about it now but like it, it was like what 2015 and i remember i was at a church um because i was doing something with some of my friends and we were getting some food because the church was doing uh free beans on toast and stuff like that and um we were very hungry so we sat down and i was in that mindset of thinking christianity must equal homophobic because I, I i did grow up with that not, not that i grew up with that but i just had the ideal i grew up on the internet and a lot of those ideals were linked and i remember i met the person there that was running it and they were gay it was a gay man who uh found love in christ uh but also was very very queer openly queer and it was just such a beautiful eye-opening moment for me when i was young because i was like damn that's awesome and we had a big conversation about it and i was so young as well and it was so nice to have this adult that was just so open to this conversation of like and also understanding um, but yeah, from that moment, I very much realized, like, th those ideals are silly. You know, just because some people use it as an excuse to be homophobic doesn't mean that it is how it is. And that's just a very, you know, it was a very nice experience for me. I was young, and it was like, my first, like, introduction to it, and I was like, damn. Nice. Um, it's actually really recent. Uh, I found out that I have feelings for my best friend, which is scary, but also really exciting. She's doing a semester abroad, so it's really hard not being able to see her. Congrats! Uh, finding out you've li you like somebody is terrifying, obviously. It feels like you're falling down a void of uncertainty and vulnerability, but I'm very proud of you. That's awesome. Amesy, when is your next stream? Oh my god, hey guys! Welcome! What is up? Welcome to the stream. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, what the frick is up, guys? Welcome in. Today we're doing queer form. <laughs> Did that answer your question? <laughs> we're so back. Uh, Robin Buckley from Stranger Things and My Lesbian Awaken. Uh, realized I was a lesbian and not bi because ain't no way I had actually ever liked a boy before. Not like that at all. Yeah. 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 Amen. 
Uh, I have reason to believe my trans awakening was the coach for Born This Way on Just Dance 2016. One moment. One moment. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my fucking yep. god. If you can be this specific, then yes, probably. I, I understand why you've got reasons to believe. Mate. That is ridiculous. How in the god, how do you remember that? How do you remember? That's crazy, and I'm glad that you know what you you carry on. You know you know what you want, and I love that for you. Okay, does seeing your gender video and crying count? <laughs> I mean, I guess. I'm sorry. For those who don't know, I have an unlisted uh, video on my YouTube, um, which is me talking about queer identity and uh, gender. I wasn't expecting many people to resonate with it as much as they did. That is it, 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 it awesome that you guys did, but I wasn't expecting it. But it was a uh, very very, very sweet. Very, very sweet. And I'm glad, I'm glad a lot of you found love in it. It means a lot. I used to have a... Wait, I used to think I had a huge crush on Dan Howell until years later I realized I was transgender all along. I just wanted to look like him. I would... Honestly, if Dan Howell had compensation for the amount of people that have probably gone through this exact thing, Dan wouldn't need to do anything anymore. He'd be living on, like, a rich place. I know for a fact there's so many people who have the exact same pipeline. Those don't know Dan Howell, uh, oh wow. What? You don't know who Dan Howell is? From Dan and Phil. Guys, you don't, oh wow. Oh my god, I'm, I'll, put them on, I'll put them on the screen, sorry. Sorry, I just had a moment of like... Holy! This is Dan Howell. Hold on, I'm, down, I'm downloading an image of him. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. This is Dan. What the hap- what happened to the background?! Oh my god, I edited the background to be Dan by accident. That was my bad. <laughs> One moment, please. There we go. There we go. That's Dan. Fucking hell, sorry. Jump scare. Uh, Dan? For the YouTube? You guys, remember our song? Guys, remember our song? God, I'm old. Moving on. Finding Ainsley back. Wait, what is your queer experience? Finding Ainsley back in 2021 and finally becoming okay with my gender and realizing being trans isn't so terrible. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, you. Same? Aww. Gabos. I mean, that would love. That's very sweet. That is very, very sweet. I'm glad to have helped you guys understand that being being queer is not a bad thing. Never was and never will. My first exposure to being queer was when I was playing The Sims 4. Uh, when I was 8 in 2014. My friends and I accidentally made my sim self flirt with my friend's sim self. To be fair, I will say, I remember, I remember so vividly when I, I remember the day that I found out that you could make Sims gay. And I remember that was like a turning point for me. I didn't know. Nobody ever told me, right? Nobody ever told me. Wait, you were eight in 2014? I don't like this game anymore. This game's stressing me out. Stressing. Thank you for the raid. Moving on. During COVID, I ended up watching Shira um, for the first time, uh, realizing that maybe I wasn't the regular cisgender straight person. That started my spiral and caused me four to five years later to be who I am now. Shira mention. Shira. 
Shira Mansion! Stop, 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 stop it. Guys, don't mention your ages! Don't mention your ages! Um, what is a queer experience? Pretending to have a male crush while I was a kid because I never experienced it. But every girl around me did and thought I had to. Damn. I think my first realization that I might be gay is when I saw Elizabeth Gillies and Victorious and thought Jade West was attractive. The natural progression, okay? This is a classic. This is a fucking classic, okay? Like, so many people, so many people have done this and it makes me giggle. I live, love, love Jade West, honestly. All right, what's next? Um, What is a queer experience? One day I woke up, then ate all of my labels and now I'm happy. You have fun. You know, personally, I wouldn't eat labels. I would I would just use them, but you know, you you do you, however you want to digest them, have fun. Uh my first gay panic is a video game character. Zelda specifically Breath of the Wild Zelda. Hold on. Uh Breath of the Wild Zelda. I understand this. I understand this. I get this. Hold on. One moment. Let's make sure I don't do the background by accident again. There we go. Iconic. Iconic. I was more of a Link guy, but I, I, ooh, mwah. As in, like, I wanted to be Link, but I like Zelda. The lesbian experience. Moving on. Um, I really liked, oh, Dipper Pines. I really liked Dipper Pines. Growing up to find out he's supposed to be a trans made a lot of sense. He was a brother, and I was supposed to be a brother. Oh. Oh. Dipper, honestly, I, I, I believed the trans Dipper headcanon before I understood that it was a thing. No, I, I know, okay, I don't know, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, I know I have a lot of Gravity Falls overlap uh, fans in my audience, not too sure. If I'm right, I'm pretty sure it was meant to happen, but it got suppressed. Um, and it's not canon, but Alex Hirsch, like, hinted at something, or there was hints of it uh, in the show. I think if I'm right. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, I know he was a very popular headcanon. Um, wait, hold on. Is... Alex Hirsch confirmed that Dipper is transcoded and would have been canon if not for... A certain network being... A ne certain network, yeah. I just write it up, yep. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. My gay awakening was Periwinkle from the Tinkerbell. Nah, Silver Mist. Silver Mist? Oh. 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 I loved Silver Mist. I also loved, um, hold on. V uh, vi Vidya? 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 Silver Mist. And I loved, uh, Iridessa as well. Oh, dude. Dude. Mwah. Mwah. I, I can't be bothered to bring them all up, chat. You know what? I'll just bring up all the fairies, okay? Think about all fairies. Uh, and you guys can just pick between them. Um. Oh, no. This is the pirate one. I want the original. There we go. I loved Vidya, dude. Vidya was so mean, but I was like, damn. Okay, Vidya. So, the ones I loved were the ones at the end. Those two. Those two. Wait, those two. And I love Iridessa. The first. Um, I, oh, Beautiful. Sounds like you're naming horse names. No! No! Yeah, oh, Iridessa is the first one. Uh, and then I love the last two as well. Silver Mist and uh, Video. Mwah. Mwah. Loved. Live, love, loved for real, for real. Um, what is a queer experience? I'm Arrow is, but for some reason, Rachel Amber, Life is Strange reference, um, does it for me. I'm obsessed with her. Too bad she's not only fit. I was fucked up. I was fucked up. She's not dead, guys. You're crazy. Guys, that's not even been discovered. It's literally October 8th right now, okay? Save that for the 10th at least. Also, by the way, if anyone hears the spoilers, I don't care. It's been out for too long. Uh, I think I'm still at ROS, yeah, but on that note, biblically accurate life is strange month. Yeah, it is, baby! Yeah, guys, we don't know that yet. Come on. Guys, it's not the 10th yet. Oh, hey, Michaela. It's so weird seeing your name as Michaela, but it looks so nice. Uh, first crush was
Did I write this? <laughs> Hello? Um, I started using they, them pronouns, and first time my friend referred to me as they, I almost cried because I felt so comfortable and seen. Uh, I also want to thank you. Because of you, I've been comfortable expressing myself, my sexuality, and my gender. Guys, stop being so nice to me, otherwise I'll start having to shout mean words at you. Ask my boyfriend out by sharing the new Thomas Sanders song with him. You cannot get any more gay. Holy shit. Lesbian Awakening was Rarity and Applejack. Oh, there's an ad play. Okay. The pre-roll ad started playing as we got onto this question, and I find that hilarious, okay? You know what? While I have you guys here, you guys tell me. What was your gay awakening? Oh, I loved Meredith from Brave, dude. I re uh, dude, as a as like young adult, I guess. I don't know, young a, young, a teenager. Uh, when was Brave out? Brave release? How old was I when Brave was out? I forget. Uh, Brave movie release. June 22, 2012. I would have been ten. Um, I was so in love with the story of Brave. Okay, I was so in love with the story of Brave. I couldn't figure out why. Obviously, I know I understand it now. It was so wonderful having a story that just literally surrounded this girl who wanted to reject the concept of like stereotype typical femininity and do what she loves and that resonated so much with me dude and just Merida in general was such a good lead like I oh my god you, nobody understands how fucking much I love the Brave film it makes me sob for some fucking reason I I I oh god it gives me chills it gives me chills all right let's log in um, what is your queer experience? Oh. I thought every other girl also had a cross on Jade from Victoria's, but they didn't. Hi, Kaki. What do you mean they didn't? What do you, what do you mean? What, what, what do you mean? What do you, what do you mean? Oh, everyone did. Every, that was the whole point. Jade West always shows up with these forms. Are you kidding? So is that Shimmer, human form, found attractive at the age of six? <laughs> That's so specific. Sunset Shimmer, human form, found attractive, age six. Bam! You know what you want to say, and I'm really proud of you. You 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 you're here, and you you want everyone to know, and I'm happy to hear it. Okay. Um, I realized I was a lesbian when I watched Heartstopper for the first time. You have fun, and I'm proud of you. That's awesome. Love watching queer people be queer. Someone said, "Have I watched Arcane on Netflix?" I don't know if you can see that, but that is a poster of Vi. Hold on. I love Arcane, dude. I fucking love Arcane, dude. Are you kidding? <sighs> anyway. Oil and water. What about us? <laughs> Sorry. Um, my first crush was on a guy in my class when I was 12. I literally accepted it and I was like, guess I'm gay now. Anybody else have those nonchalant experiences? Yes, I'm gay. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. Making sure. Things got so much easier when I realized gender isn't real and I don't need to label my sexuality. Dude, I wish everyone... Not... I Like, I love that I found so much comfortability in my lesbian label. But when it comes to gender, I think everyone should be more... It's one of those things... It is completely okay to be unlabeled, and it is completely okay to not know what you are. I say this a lot, and this is a quote. If you've watched me for a long time, then you know this quote by the back of your hand, because it is my favorite thing to say. But you have got all the time to figure out who you are. Don't force yourself to figure it out now, okay? You're learning so many new things about yourself every single day. Just like when it comes to, I don't know, foods that you thought you hated that suddenly taste nice. Use that and put that energy like there are so many things you should be focusing on it is okay to not know and it is okay to never figure it out either okay and i'm being so serious okay it is okay to just never figure it out you don't have to have a label unlabeled unlabeled is also good okay take all the time you need and if it gets to a point where it's stressing you out more than anything don't need it okay life is fluid you're gonna figure out so many new things about yourself and just and just keep going, all right? Y you're gonna figure it out one way or another, okay? You don't gotta fucking push it. You wouldn't, you wouldn't force yourself to enjoy, like, eat something that you don't enjoy, would you? So don't push yourself to figure out everything right now. 
You got more things to worry about. Like when is MC TV going live? Okay. <laughs> what did Chewie say? A guy pretended to date me for a week to prove that he wasn't gay, and then I thought, huh, what if I am? Well. Well, Chewie. Um, I realized I was a trans guy because most of uh wait. I realized I was a trans guy because most of my crush on guys was actually gender envy. One of those characters being Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls. I don't want to hear anyone say hear me out. Hi, Tina. Guys, 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 don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. No, 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 no. She, oh, looking ass, hello. Yo, thank you so much, Bill Cypher, for the gifted. Dude, that's awesome. No characters, but as someone who's transfirm, Nia to Selby and Elena give me so much gender envy. Oh, I love. Love. When I accidentally came out to my mom as a lesbian in 2021, I had a big interest in Tom Holland's Spider-Man. She asked, oh, so you like Zendaya and Tom Holland? And I was like, no, Zendaya. And she understood perfectly. Ah. You have fun. Everyone loves Zendaya. Uh, my first crush was now my ex-best friend. I still like it, but she's a terrible person. <laughs> hey. Damn. I came out to my parents as a trans man in... Tw uh, wait. I came out to my parents as a trans man in 2021 watching someone play MCC during Sands of Time. Then I realized a week after coming out, I wasn't a trans man, but just trans non-binary. Oh... Oh, oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Hi, Brett. Oh my god. May. May. Well, while they were worrying about how much time they had left in the game, you were out here worrying about other things. Other timers. To be fair, I get it. It is a very stressful game, you know? I'd feel like I have got a countdown. I'd feel like I've got to say it, you know what I mean? I get gender envy from almost every Ninjago character. I wonder who this was. So true! Oh my god! Um, getting my hair cut short because I'm non-binary and it was gender affirming and it was so good. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, dude! Haircuts are fun. Haircuts are cool. I have not had a proper haircut in three, no, two years because I don't let people cut my hair unless it is one specific hairdresser that I have all the way back in Wales because it's the only person that has ever cut my hair and it's the only person that is ever going to cut my hair. I don't like, I don't like it. I hate haircuts. I hate haircuts. So I always cut my own hair. And I always have fun with it. I mean, me cutting my hair this short was an accident and I, and I fucking vibe with it. So. What if, someone says, what if they die? What are you planning? Mr. Whiskers 21009, what are you planning? You better not. You better, no. I need that. I need that haircut. What are you planning, Mr. Whiskers? Mr. Whiskers 2109, what are you planning? Yeah, I'm calling you out. What are you planning? I'm scared. If I ever see you in Wales, yeah, you, yeah. You get, you, something's gonna happen. I'm not gonna be okay, all right? Let's all calm down, shall we? All right, let's all calm down. Oh. I've never been to Wales, don't worry, and keep it that way. Moving on. I'm pretty sure Jade West from Victoria, fucking hell. I need to start drinking. I need to start drinking every time I see a fucking Jade West mention. Oh my god. Not because it's bad, but it's just- it happens. Jade, every single time I do one of these streams, we get Jade at least five fucking times. It is so funny. Does- do you think Elizabeth Gillies understands the effect that Jade West had on a bunch of young queer people? Why is this a Oh, wait, yes, Brit, it's your birthday, right? Brit, you're still here. Brit, are you- Brit, 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 are you still here? Are you still here? Okay, if Brit's not here, I want everyone in chat to just say happy birthday. It is, a, it is a gamer's birthday today in chat, right? If everybody in chat wants to say happy birthday, and can someone screenshot and send it to Brit? Yeah, there we go. 
Brett. Someone please, someone who knows Brett, someone screenshot this and send it to Brett. Ah, oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. Y'all are too cute. Y'all are too cute. I'm counting on at least one of you. I'm counting on at least one of you to send that, okay? At birth. At birth. All right, let's move on. Um, coming to terms with being on the asexual spectrum has just been so eye-opening. I'm still exploring my gender identity, but I don't need to figure out it right away. I'm just me. Yes. That is exactly why when people ask me, like, what my gender identity is, I literally just go... I just go, I'm just Amy. Yep. Yep, exactly. Um, yeah. You don't owe anyone anything, man. You just owe yourself the kindness, and that's all you need. Uh, I came out to a co-worker- wait, I came out to a co-worker once when I told a guy, Sorry, I'm a lesbian. I don't like men. That's how you should do it. Congrats. That's amazing. I want to kiss Twilight Sparkle. What is your queer experience? I want to kiss Twilight Sparkle. Sorry? Did Pinkie Pie write this? <sighs> Pinky, what have we told you? What have we told you about submitting these forms? Dude, come on. Come on. Come on. Dude. Who is this diva? When I was younger, I thought I had a crush on a boy, but I actually liked his sister. Hell yeah. My gay awakening was while I was watching Mamma Mia the movie, I saw Sme- Oh, Meryl Streep! Oh, try not to say mother challenge. Holy shit, I love Meryl Streep. I fucking love Meryl Streep. Not even funny. Not even funny. Oh man. Hot diggity dog indeed, dude. Ugh. You guys wanna see Meryl- Okay, I, I will show you Meryl Streep in Mamma Mia for context. Oh, man. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, Meryl. Meryl, Meryl, Meryl. Oh, you have my heart, my soul, and everything above. Hold on, guys. You want to see Meryl? My girl? This is Meryl! Donna Sheridan, you crazy lady! Oh, dude, I love the movies. No, Meryl, no, no. No. Yeah, you get it now. You get it now. You get it now. You get it now. All right, we love her. We lo oh, Catherine Han, dude, dude, love Catherine Han as well. Moving on. I've got a huge crush on my best friend. Is also a lesbian, but I can never tell if she likes me back. Whatever you do, don't do the thing that is always in movies, which is the you like anyone because I do, and you know them really well. Oh, it makes me cringe. I hate it. 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 The amount- Ugh. 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 Cringe. I know. I know. Uh, Joker Persona 5 made me realize I'm trans, FTM, and gay. Joker? For those who don't know, by the way, Persona 5 is my starting soon music. If you guys don't know who Joker is, I, I will show you Joker. Where's Gucky? Oh, there we go. Guys are right in the chat. I was about to say Gucky, there's Dona references. Grog would also like this. Uh, let me get this. Oh, let me get an image of Joker real quick. Oh, that's, that's Donna Sheridan. Hold on. This is... No, 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 no. This is, this is from Persona chat. It's from Persona. A lot of people are about to get gender envy. I'm waiting for it. Yeah, that's Joker. I was waiting for that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, when I was little, everyone would tell me I'm a girly girl. But I never understood that. Cause I always felt more like a tomboy and I never knew why. Anyways, happy 1.5 years on T to me! <laughs> That's amazing! Let's fucking go, mate. Let's fucking go. That's awesome. Uh, I met three trans people before I realized I was non-binary because I was in denial that someone could present as a woman but still be non-binary. Yeah, it doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter. 
uh, the Evan Buckley from 911, Gender Envy is Real. I don't want to look like him or a man, but he just like trans in spirit. He just has that. And somehow I want to achieve it. I'm not sure how. I don't watch 911, but I have two friends who do. Um, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say, yeah. Have fun. Cosplays as a 12th do Okay. Cosplayed as a 12th doctor and realized I like presenting androgynous a little too much. Next thing I know, I realized I'm a non-binary lesbian. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's an amazing way to realize. 10 out of 10, mate. All over the place, lol. I was scared to admit that I was a lesbian, so I went between queer and bi for years. Since the age of 11, when I heard my first girl in Red Song. To be honest, seeing you be so proud of your identity made me feel more comfortable in mine. I've identified as a lesbian for two years and I'm very happy. That's awesome. Ah, stop it. Stop it, you. Stop it, you. Keep going. Stop it, you. That's very sweet. That is very, very sweet. Uh, I accidentally came out as non-binary to my sister a few months ago because I was showing her Twitter discourse and I forgot to put... I forgot I put in my reply on the tweet I was non-binary, mate. If I accidentally came out to somebody through Twitter discourse, just shoot me and let me restart. That's, that's not a way out. Man, I'm so sorry. That's so funny, though. Holy. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I don't remember how old I was, maybe 11 or 12. I really liked My Hero Academia. I'd never been able to watch it. I was only able to watch some little videos and loved it. And then I just got Toga, my world changed. Toga was my gay awakening. I, I know that, what is the word? Um, Toga, I, I, okay. I don't know anything about My Hero Academia, especially recent. But I do follow Moon, who is the artist behind Petal, uh, starting soon on Twitter. So I know everything about Toga! <laughs> um, but I saw the TikTok from the recent episode of Toga and... Oh, 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 yeah, oh, check. Oh, yes, that person. And the, do you think I'm... I, oh, wait, am I spoiling? I don't want to spoil, sorry. I just know stuff about it. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say anything else. Very good clip. Don't know anything else about it, but let's move on. Yeah? Yeah, I know the scene. I know the scene. I know the scene. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to spoil. I'm sorry, but I didn't spoil. I didn't spoil. I didn't spoil. But I do know the scene. I didn't come out to my mom after, until after my first great cop. Oh. Oh. That's so sad. Uh, my celebrity crush was Rosa Diaz from Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and then I fell in love with three girls. <sighs> Average Rosa Diaz lover. I'm just saying. I'm sorry, but Gina and Rosa should have ended up together. I haven't seen all of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but they should have ended up together. I'm just saying. Um, I think it was a very common queer thing, but I had a massive crush on Marceline Adventures Down when I was like a 10 or 11. Ah! Oh! I love Marceline. No, though there are no sexual desires. I would love to just take her to my family's orchard and run around and pick up apples. My family don't have an orchard. But I would still like to do that. Uh, my queer experience is probably just having a panic attack when my... When my girlfriend asked me out. Oh, mate, I'm so sorry. That must have been... That must have been difficult. Jesus. Uh, I had a guy call me gay as a joke, and I just slowly nodded and said, Indeed. Damn. You carry on. Uh, when my friend called me, but my friend froze down for the first time. That's always a sweet thing. Uh, what's the word? It is always a very, very sweet thing when you get, like, referred to with your referred anything for the first time. It's something you won't ever forget. You're like, damn. That was sweet. That was fucking cool. Uh, first night I had with another girl, recent actually, we did a puzzle together in a library. Oh, how more queer can you get? How more queer can you fucking get? Doing puzzles together in the library? Little sapphic, little, 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 little... little. <laughs> when I first got gender firm and haircut, the next day I saw a photo of myself, I got gender envy from myself. 
There will be an ad playing in a second, chat. Hold on. Yes, I did start. Yeah, I did start JJK. Yeah, speaking of speaking of things that gay people do, um, I started uh, Jujutsu Kaisen last night, and I'm I'm watching episode two today. Um, oh wait, you got the ad? Yay! I like and survive. I've only watched one episode. Very good. We're gonna watch another one tonight. Um, I'll I'll keep you guys updated with my process. I didn't think I was gonna. What's the word? I didn't think that I would get into another anime for a while because um i'm still you know my, i literally am wearing my boy right here um but yeah i like i like yuji so far i think that's his name yuji more than one can have your heart mm, we'll see we'll see I don't- I don't remember who Gucky said was gonna be my favorite. Gucky? Fuck- oh, yeah, okay. Gucky, who did you say was gonna be my favorite, though? Megumi. Is Megumi the one that's Sasha? Oh, no. In another- that- No, it's not. No, that's Yuji. No! No! I would have been Connie. I meant Sasha. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Um, what is your queer experience? Uh, I had a crush on Dora, the explorer, for two years. <laughs> you are fun. person in chat that's because she's six this person could have also been six chat chat what is it with you guys and automatically wanting to assume that this person had ill intentions that says way more about you than it does about anyone else i'm not trying to call anyone out but it's so fucking weird that somebody will say something like this and your immediate reaction is to go oh my god but she's blank dude this person was probably seven it is so strange of you guys to always do this. This happens so often. And I'm not trying to call anyone out. I'm not trying to get upset. But it is just so... Yeah, it's just hard, dude. So pro when they were probably young as well. Don't automatically assume the grossness in people. Because it's not a fun... It's not a... It's not just like a funny bit either. You know what I mean? I cannot imagine automatically trying to equate this to that kind of... It, that kind of like assumption. I see this and I go, that was probably a child that had a crush on a on someone else that was their age. They should mention it. No, they shouldn't. No, they should not. We've had people mentioning Jade West. We've had people mentioning other like characters that are also underage. Nobody has thought anything. You know? You know who I had a crush on? Mummy Pig. When I was a child. My bad. Sue me. I know she wasn't young, but it was from a show, you know? Sue me. Fucking sue me. Live, laugh, love, mummy pig. Just saying. Oh, Rebecca Rabbit. No, 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 no. No. Miss Rabbit. Dude, Miss Rabbit was giving Trisha from Austin and Ali a run for her money. She was fucking working every corner. I was so, I was like, damn. Girl is like making her money. Like, girl was having a new job every day, and I was like, damn. No, not Jessica Rabbit, you bastard. Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit. Peppa Pig. Miss Rabbit. You know Miss Rabbit. Booked on the bus. And everything else. The pre... Miss Rabbit. Sorry. I'm getting stressed, guys. I became aromantic after I saw Jaden Animation's video. This is a... Okay, yeah, this is like, this is a very normal experience. I know for a fact this is a very normal experience. There's so many people that have had this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you could submit more than one response. Go ahead. Yeah. You've never seen Peppa Pig? I'm so sorry. My gay awakening was Sabrina Carpenter and Gills me. What do you guys know about Maya Hart? What do you guys know about Maya Hart? I want you to tell me right now.
There's no one at home who will help me with my homework. I will kill everyone in this room. I will kill everyone in this room right now. What do you mean nothing you're old? Whatever. Anyway, go Maze World. Yo, they're alone in the room. Listen, man. Time to die, I guess. So, Maya Carpenter. My, my Carpenter. Maya Hart. What a fucking brilliant character. Apart from... Apart from, you know, some of the storylines. Girl Meets World was very strange. Gonna be honest with you. Very strange. Um, but, God, some of those episodes really hit me. The thing... Okay, listen. The thing with Girl Meets World is it was overall all over the place. Gonna be so honest with you. But there is... It, the problem The problem that I have with, had with Girl Meets... Not problem. But the issue with it is there was some episodes that hit so hard for me that I then just had to then, like... What is the word? You know when you watch a show and there's just some episodes that you're like, what the fuck is going on? But then there's like something that happens. You're like, damn, that has hit me so hard. And now I'm going to think about this for the rest of my life. That was like that. Like specifically Maya's storyline with her homework and like her home life. Oh my God. I used to sob to that. Like as well as everything um, talking about, oh man. Dude, there was so much. There was so much. And I used to just... Ugh. Bro. Okay, moving on. I'm gay. I would hope so. This is the queer experience test. Merida. Fucking love Merida. Oh my god! Ah! I'll stop crying, dude. Merida, my girl. I would... Oh man. I will never forget the one time that me and Gucky were on a flight home from somewhere. And we both wanted to watch something. We couldn't really figure out what to watch. So we then just ended up deciding on watching Brave. And we were... Do you know when, like, the flight lands and it's in taxi? There are times where, um... There are, like... There's, like, traffic, like, on the runway. So you've just got to kind of stay in the plane. And they left the screens on. So me and Gucky were like... Hold on. Let's just carry on watching and get to the end of this. So we just did that. What do you mean a thing for Irish people? Merida is Scottish? Never confuse the two again. Mom, it's just me boo. Let's all calm down. Anyway, moving on, chat. Again, I'm upset. Stop messing. Stop. Guys, I was, I was literally about to say, stop mixing up the Celts. Stop messing and stop mixing up the Celts, all right? All right. Um. Thank you, Lloyd and Jago, for being a he, she, arrow, ace, agenda. Respect. Thank you, Lloyd. We couldn't have done it without you. That's amazing. I don't we, I'm I'm not, but still. The first time I learned what LGBTQ was was in year five when my now not friend said she was pan and explained what that meant. That's cute. Thank you, Cole Ninjago. Okay, what is happening? Why? What is happening? Is it more of a question, but how do I come out to my family? Uh, you should always, you should always ensure that you're in a safe environment to do so. Because obviously there's always going to be a big chance that it's going to go south. Never come out for the sake of coming out. You, If you're in an environment where you can't get out of, or it's not safe for you to be, do not do it. I know you want to come out and you want to be proud and you want to be yourself, but the main thing is, is your safety and you're never going to be able to live a life that you love if you're not able to get to that point okay if you if you are 100 percent aware that you're living in a household that is homophobic i would definitely not recommend doing that okay i would definitely recommend waiting until you are in a safe environment before you do anything like that okay very important uh my first queer haircut was the lesbian side shave that's amazing 
Um, my mum just forgot I was queer. So one day she asked me if I was as a joke, and I was like, yeah? <laughs> my first create gay crush was JD from Heather's. I spent weeks drawing him over and over. Oh. Found out the hard way. Uh, oh, I found out that the hard way. Make sure to come out when you have a support system. Exactly. Exactly. Um, bye, sappy and long. Oh, bit sappy and long. Uh, but... You've been such a comfort and safe place for me since I found your Twitch. Until November last year, I was closeted FTM. I was dealing with it, dysphoria and everything alone for about seven months, seven years prior. Thank you for helping me forget to a point where I can comfortably present myself around my friends and some family just by being yourself. Oh, dude. Congrats. That's awesome. That's amazing. Oh, Ren. That's so sweet. Very proud of you. So is all the gamers. That's awesome. Glad, glad to know that you can find love and support here. That's very, very nice to know, okay? Gosh, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. All right, chat. We're gonna do. We're gonna do like two more, and then I'm gonna talk to you guys about something, and then we're gonna head. And then it's very important though, so stay in the stream, okay? I was gonna try and stream for a bit longer today, chat, but I am. Um, I've got so much to work on, and also I need to eat, and so do you. Um, the character that tipped me by was Alice from the Twilight movies. Oh, mwah, mwah. Every time somebody asks me if I'm Team Edward or Team Jacob, my always response is always Team Alice. Everyone knows this already, though. That is always my response. I've done this many times. When I first came out, I only wore a button-up for years, and that is the last thing I'm going to end on because so did I. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate that I did as well. Moving on. Hello, it's me. I just had some tequitos. Hey! Well, have more. What's stopping you, man? Hi, chat. It's me. Um, what I wanted to say, chat. What I wanted to say. I do have some things that I want to quickly say. Um, thank you guys for hanging out. This has been such a lovely stream. Um, if you are queer, let me turn down the music a little bit. If you are queer, um, and you're living in an environment that may not be the safe for you, I want to just let you know, you will eventually get to a point where it is safe for you. Um, and I hope that day comes soon. Um, thank you for a lovely stream. I, this was a very... I wasn't gonna do this stream today it was actually just gonna be my little pony reaction but i don't know why i was feeling a lot of love um a lot of queer joy today and i wanted to you know i wanted i wanted to i wanted to i wanted to talk about it so i'm sorry that there's no my little pony but i'm really happy we did this stream i think this is a very lovely stream i feel very prideful right now i feel very lovely um and i want to say whether you're out and proud or you're in the closet happy lesbian day my loves um you're doing amazing we're all in this together all right um, what I do want to say, real quick, is, so, two things I need to say. Stay in the stream. The first thing I want to say is, October 12th, 6pm BST, something is coming, okay? It's gonna be fun. Um, I'm not gonna say, I'm gonna say more information about this on the 10th. I don't want to expose too much about it, um, but I'm very excited. It's with other people. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, I will I will show you guys where you can find out more information as it continues. Uh, but that is all I'm going to say. It is not walls, okay? It is Minecraft, but it is not walls. Um, I will send this to you guys real quick. Here we go. If you guys would like to follow this. Um, for anyone who's about to wonder, the thing I just put in the chat, it is not... Um, yeah, I don't expose any more info. The thing I just put in the chat, um, I'm just gonna quickly explain. It is not a law-based thing, don't worry. It is just going to be a fun thing with a bunch of people that you're going to be very excited for. Um, uh, with a bunch of people that I'm very excited for. It's not going to be anything heavy. I'm being so honest here. I don't want you guys... Okay, I, I love you guys so much, but I really don't want you guys to um, think this is my one of my tricks where I do the thing where I'm like... It's not going to be me, 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 but then it is because I, me, Ollie, and Gravel have all worked on this. It's all of us um us three it's a project that I, I i've been working on it a very for a very long time and i asked ollie and gravel uh two days ago if they would like to join me in releasing this and they both said yes um it's basically a giant mod pack with a bunch of people that um i put a lot of people together and it's gonna be a very very fun time um but yeah there's a lot of stuff to it it's, a, it's not normal minecraft let me just say this okay i'm very excited all right next thing i want to say next thing i do want to say You'll see, you'll see, Simon. Um, I was with, uh, I was with Toby today. Uh, and Toby was talking about, uh, how 
today is the first day for those who don't know today is the first day of toby's brand new uh podcast with janae they're both they've both been working on it for a while um and i wanted to do something nice uh because i i don't think he's advertised this well uh in the sense of he's kind of told everyone today and I want to make sure that it does. I, I, it's it look, it's very cool. I saw the set today, and it's very fucking cool. So we're gonna offline raid. We're gonna offline raid into it. It's a radio show that is a, like an official radio show that you guys can go follow. We're gonna offline raid, and I would re just just stay in the chat, okay? You don't have to. You don't have to, okay? But you know, if you want to just kind of stay in the chat, give it a follow, help boost it. You know, it'd be really nice. You know, you guys know me. I love to. I don't know i just i i love to make sure that the people the people are doing good things you know um but yeah we're gonna offline raid and then i will see you guys tomorrow hi guys i'm gonna go eat have an amazing day thank you for hanging out you're awesome i love you guys see you bye bye, bye, -bye. happy lesbian day happy lesbian day bye -bye.